Okay, I think we're good now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to one more episode of uh, Tactical Periodization Moments. Uh, this is a podcast brought to you by the official school of Tactical Periodization. Uh, thank you, everyone, for staying with us. And let me introduce you, all listeners, to Gregory Duru. I don't know if it's the right way to tell you, to, to, to say your name, I hope so from Switzerland, and he is currently the head coach of FC Perli in Switzerland. And we thank you for accepting our invitation. It's a great honor for us to, to have you. Thank you, Gregory. Thank you. I'm happy to be there. Thank you. Well, uh, we've been uh, in many parts of the world with, with this uh, podcast, uh, and Switzerland is a is a, a special place well at least for portugal because we have a really big connection to to switzerland uh, with with a lot of with a lot of immigration i i see switzerland as a as as a, as a part of portugal a small part of portugal so there is there is a special connection i believe that uh, you you are a professional player uh, to start with you are a professional player and now uh, you have your career as a football coach. And do you think that your experience, your, your career as a player helped you uh, in any way now that you are a, a, a football coach? Well, that's, that's a question that uh, uh, I was thinking a few times, if, uh, if it helps me. So, I mean... Uh, it helped me. It helped me. It, it helped me in a way that um, to to feel to feel what's happened with the player. Uh, mostly in the, I mean, on the pitch, on the changing room, you can feel the atmosphere of if the the player they are scared of the what, what they they have what they have like uh, emotions. But uh, I mean, I. Everything I learned uh, as a coach, I mean, uh, it, it's uh, only what so it's after in my curriculum uh, as a coach. I don't take, I didn't take with me a lot uh, of my uh, careers. Uh, I didn't have a lot of coaches that I say, okay, uh, I can bring that with me because uh, for me it was the uh, old school football with uh, other perspective, other, uh, other points of training, another way to train, to, to play. And uh, so now it's uh, like, I, I, am, uh, I am coach now since 10 years, a bit more. And uh, I came in um, with a curve coaching uh, which is a technical uh, in a technical way in the technical uh, part, and it, what it, it's what it's uh, I was very interested about that because it was another point of view that I have learned before as a football player, because when I was a player, the only aspect to be strong physical, and then just uh, play like uh, I don't want to say like we want, but. Uh, not technical technical part was not very important and uh so i didn't learn a lot of uh, different things that's why uh, now uh, i like my job because we can uh, i can uh, do what i want and what i think it's good to to learn football okay well um some years ago, at least here in Portugal, I don't know, in Switzerland, and you, you will tell me this right away, uh, it was very common for the, the players to become coaches. And now, uh, more and more, it happens uh, that the coaches don't have a, a, a player background. Uh, do you think that's a handicap or, or, or not? Um, it's a good question. Um, I, I know the, the curriculum in, uh, in Portugal is different because uh, you, you can uh, make your diploma through the university. It's not the case in Switzerland because uh, 
because it, it's different. It's a different a different way. And uh, in Switzerland, if you you wasn't a football player, it's uh, it's difficult to to upgrade to the end. So I mean, it helps in that way if you want to have the UEFA Pro. So I mean, if you are not a former football player, it's it's a bit more difficult right now. But uh, in the general point of view, uh, I I'm not sure that uh, I'm not sure that good player or good former player uh, will be a good coach. That's why I think uh, you you can't be a football a football player, but you can be a good coach because uh, be a coach. It's not only speaking uh, about football uh, or method methodology on the on the pitch. It's all, all uh, it's also about management. So that's that's why uh, it's. Uh, uh, that's why, for example, I think Mourinho wasn't a football player, right? I'm right. Yes, he had a short career yeah, as a football career, player. So, but he, he made all this, uh, this curriculum in the university and then uh, learn uh, in different clubs. So, I mean, it, it's the, the great example to, to, be, to do that. Yes. Well, um, I, I, I agree with you. Um, you you were saying that um, in in the past in the past um, as as a player you you felt that the physical part of training was very present there. Do you, do you think that things have changed uh, uh, along the years in in in, Swit in Switzerland? Uh, not so much. I mean. Uh still now the physical part is very important in switzerland and uh, in switzerland it's it's a bit uh, i don't want to say complicated a bit different because we are we have uh, three parts german parts italian parts and french parts and we are not working in the same way in the different parts so in the french part we are more working and uh, because we are more technical player we love the game and for example, in German part, we are more on the uh, fighting spirits, uh, be strong and the uh, physical part. But um, I, I was thinking about that, why in Switzerland, usually we are, the, the physical part, it's so big. Uh, and my, I, and I think it's because it's um, the easiest way to, I don't want to say make player, but to, to, to bring player at a good level because it's scientific you can just uh, uh, keep going and keep going because when you when you want to work on technique or cognitive part which uh, it's a big part in the um, in the tactical periodization you have to to you need to have more skills and uh, you are it, it's very it's much more difficult and uh, that's why sometimes uh, I don't want to say we, we use the easiest way to make um, to, to make the player better, but uh, unfortunately, in on my opinion, it's uh, only on the physical part. Okay, uh, just to let everyone know, uh, Gregory uh, was our was or still is our student from the second edition of the professional master in tactical periodization. When you when you talk about the physical part that's very important and still is in Switzerland, do you mean in the in the way that they take care of the physical part, uh, like in athletics with a lot of running and all all of that, or do you mean like they take care of the physical part in a football context, like in tactical precision, for, for instance, th there is this myth that tactical precision doesn't doesn't care about the physical part. It's not true. It does care and a lot, but uh, always inside a football context, not, yeah. not not in that context of athletics or track running or something like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's maybe what I had to precise before to make precision about that. So it's it's more I want to say it's it's more in an analytic an analytic way that we work on the the physical here in Switzerland, 
and sometimes uh, it's not related uh, on the game. So uh, of course uh, I agree it's important, but uh, sometimes we we think it's too important and we we are not thinking anymore about football, and that's what I my, it's my opinion about that here in Switzerland. Okay, and how how do you see how do you see things evolving in in Switzerland? Um, how how is football organized right now? E even in the different parts, do you have a, a a one single national championship? How how does it work? Uh, uh, so in the professional part, we have um, we have a championship with so different division with the first division. It's, uh, it's only 10, te uh, 10, 10 teams, 10 clubs. They are making four rounds for four for, for years, for years. And then second division, the same. It's the both are professional and the third division, it's half professional. And then it's uh, another uh, concept also. And then you have the amateur below. And uh, you have just only one teams one team which um, going up uh, from the second to the uh, first division, and there is a barrage game between the the second from the second division and the uh, ninth of the first division, and sometimes they make two is going up and two is going down. But I'm, my opinion, they can make now with the infrastructure here with the team maybe a championship with fourteen teams. But uh, it's not evolving. Maybe that now they are talking about to make again twelve teams in the in the future. So um, we don't know exactly if it's going the the case in uh, next season or in in two years. I don't know exactly. Okay. So um, uh, having having studied with us in 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 the in the, in the official school of tactical operation. Do you feel like you, you are doing your part on changing the perspective on things, things in, in Switzerland? Or do you find it really difficult to, to, to penetrate the, the, the old minds? Uh, I, it's, it's always difficult to penetrate the old minds. And especially, I mean, in Switzerland, because it uh, uh, depends who is in the, in the top of the pyramid. You have to uh, to try to convince him, and if he's a German guy, he's uh, he's uh, a lot influenced. That his influences from the German part in in Germany, and then change. And always things are changing a lot uh, in Switzerland, especially in the in the youth uh, level, uh, under fourteen, under thirteen, uh, etc. Uh, that we are the um, the king here in, in Switzerland to to try to make new concepts, which there are there are. You can find this concept nowhere. I mean, uh, it's always a new things, and sometimes it's too much changes, um, for my opinion. And uh, and then we are we are quite quite good at this level, but the 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 problem we have in Switzerland it's in the post formation. So when the player they are under 18, 21, it's difficult uh, for us to make these steps to to become a, to become professional or very good player. And usually um, in Switzerland, it's not a lot of player they are living very early uh, in foreign countries, and when they do, uh, they come back in Switzerland to play in the in first division for a while. And uh, if they are playing well, then maybe they, they try to make uh, another uh, another transfer. Uh, and the other way is to to stay in Switzerland. Uh, usually, make a loan in the second division for one two season, then play with the first team. And uh, at 23, 24 years old, the player, if it's a good player, is ready to to leave and make a new, new experience in uh, in. Uh, it's mostly in Germany uh, and sometimes uh, in England or Italy or also. Yes. Well, uh, talking about kids, um, you've been training kids for the last eight or nine years. Uh, did you notice any difference along the way? Um, no, I mean, the, what, what is important for, for those kids is the patient. patient 
yeah, they are very passionate about the, the game and they, they, they dream big. Uh, the biggest problem we have in, uh, in Switzerland that uh, uh, we, have, we are in a country that uh, we don't um, miss for, of anything. I mean, all, the, all these kids, uh, all those kids, if they are not, uh, not going to be a professional player, they will uh, have a nice work and uh, uh, have a nice job, I mean, and uh, the life is going on. So sometimes it's not easy for the coach to, to, uh, to, to let them know how to work really to achieve the, the dream. And uh, that's that. That's not that. That's a, a funny things to to say. Okay, we have to find any motivation, guys, uh, to to have this dream uh, job. And uh, I, I have uh, I have, I was lucky because uh, uh, I, uh, I I was in in them in the in this place when I was young, and I can explain. What, uh, which way it was, my, uh, which, which way, which way I, I had, and what I have to to make like sacrifice or everything like that. So it, it's for me it's it's a bit easier. But now after 12 years, because now it's uh, about 12 years I I finish my career. The 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 the, 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 the guys uh, I am training they they don't know any me anymore. So. It's more difficult to to let them know <laughs> what what was my my way. Yes. Um, can you can you compare uh, both realities uh, in, on one side your experience when you were a kid playing football, and the experience that kids have now in Switzerland when they are uh, playing football? Do do do, do they still? play football in the streets of Geneva like you did or is it different uh, it's a bit different I mean it's a lot of um, training ground in in Geneva or where where you can play three three four four that's nice and uh, we have a large community of uh, of different uh, people that are coming from uh, as you said before Portugal Italy uh, Spain, uh, people from the, the Balkan, the, the, from ex Yugoslavia, uh, and that, that's nice because they are playing all around. But uh, the the way I played football when I was young, it was more you you, you were in the, in the street, you was in the, you were in the street and just invent a game. Uh, now it's everything is a bit more um, in the. In the, so you have to play on the football ground, uh, synthetics or whatever. It's it's a lot of access. That's nice, but uh, you are not uh, okay. I am with uh, six friends, and okay, we 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 make a game. We we use a piece of paper to to send something in. Uh, I mean, it's it's a different. But they they love to play. Uh, that that's important. But now uh, they want. Because they they um, see what's happened in the in the TV now with uh, all these big players. What is important for for those guys is to make uh, you know the same uh, celebration than Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi when they score, or make um, how do you say uh, I don't know how do you say in, in English petit pont between the leg. You know when you make this ball yes, yes. between the leg. And uh, what, that, that's the most important. Uh, but sometimes they for, they forget uh, the um, the what 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 is football and to have this influence of the street and make the right movement at the right moment. Yes. Um, okay, <laughs> that that's curious. Well, now now you are uh, in in senior uh, with with a, with a, an adult team. Uh, in a, in a, at a, an amateur level, um, how how is it going? Uh, it's completely different than uh, than the youth than the young player, uh, because uh, when I had uh, when I had uh, the youth team, I, I was in the in the elite level, so uh, I prepared the, the guys to 
to to be a football player as a as a as a work and now uh, I, I knew that this change this change make will me will be a um, I don't um, a good experience of course but in a set in a certain way would be difficult for me because I, I, I have to adapt of a lot of different things that uh, that it's not always easy if you want to build a team if you want to to make progress with this with those team uh, you never know how many you you will be in the the, <laughs> the training yeah. uh, so you always have to be to adapt and be flexible so that's a good uh, that's a it's a good learn for me uh, to to be flexible but uh, I mean sometimes uh, to be out of the framework framework yes not always the the the, the right way uh, as well so uh, I'm not I'm not sure that it's uh, what I want to do in the future but uh, I, I try to to use what I, I learned before and what I learned in the in the master to have this uh, um, large uh, view I mean and not be focused only on one thing and try to to uh, to relate it, everything between that's a very good uh, very good experience with that or, to be honest and uh, to have the relation with the with the guys uh, a bit more close with the guys understand what what they do and the, the difficulty they have to to be there in the session it's not only because they don't want to be there because, but because they are working they are family and uh, it's uh, it's not easy for them i think it's probably much more easier to to coach a first team division a professional first team division <laughs> yes maybe you have less issues to deal with i don't know <laughs> Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, speaking about the, the, the master, as you mentioned, uh, as, as you know, uh, uh, th there's a third edition uh, starting. Uh, it, it started yesterday, actually. Um, what advices do you have for those guys? And also for, for the guys that are thinking about doing it. And also, uh, if, you, if you may remember the, the third part, uh, how was your experience in the presential part of, of the master? Um, do you feel it was an enriching experience? Because the guys on the third edition may be uh, willing, they, they are maybe sensitive to advices from the guys that have been there. Yeah. Uh, to, uh, to be honest, I was lucky uh, to come in this presential part in, uh, in the context because with the COVID and everything. And uh, I, I was... Um, sad to leave before the end and i wanted to 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 stay to the end but i, I couldn't uh that was a great experience uh it's it's a, it's an opportunity to to meet new people around the world to share experiences and to and it's it, it, it it's very nice and even with you guys to because uh, i mean it, it it's it's good to do that in in the in uh, in zoom but it's much more better to to meet in uh, in live uh, on the in in portugal to be really um, in a, an immersive way it's much more it's better and um, after about the, the master it's uh, it's very interesting because uh, and it, it's also very complex because it's a lot uh, of um, things to understand and to relate it. And sometimes it's a bit frustrating because, uh, because you, you, you want to, to doing things quicker, but you can't because uh, everything is not uh, in the right place at the right moment. And uh, so it's, uh, it's, all, it's also a um, um, uh, life experience uh for for any uh, uh guys who who are doing that and uh we just have to to be patient keep going and uh still uh, keep going to work and uh then suddenly things are coming like like that you know you say okay 
And uh, what, what is funny, sometimes it's not related about football when you understand uh, it's in, in other contexts and you, and you understand that the, dyna the dynamic uh, you are trying to find in football, it's uh, the same in, the, in, another, in another part. So what is in, incredible with uh, tactical periodization, it's, it's not related about the football only. It's related about the life. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, thank you for your words. Well, I have one last question. We are right on time. Uh, but before that, let me tell all our listeners that we, you, you can find our official school of tactical position on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, or whatever, YouTube. And you can also find the other episodes of this podcast at Spotify or even YouTube uh, with video. So, Gregory, um, one last question. Uh, if I went to Switzerland to coach, <laughs> what three advices would, would you give me instantly? Except, well, apart from eating a lot of chocolate and cheese, of course. But apart from that, which, which advices would you, would you give me? Um, as I said before, you have to choose the, which part you want to go, if you can choose. I mean, uh, you have to, to choose if you want to, to prefer to learn French, German, or Italian. So that's the first point. Okay. And the mentality is, and the culture is very different in where, where you go. Uh, so that's the, the first thing. And the second thing, of course, is to adapt in the context. Um, the, the people here in Switzerland, they, are, they have skills in football. And of course, um, it's um, sometimes when uh, an, an something, so, some, someone new is coming, they are a bit um, on the defensive part, are a bit uh, scared about the who is coming because they they think maybe they can they're gonna take the the place from the from the guys and everything but if you uh, i mean if if you try to if you if you come in switzerland and you try to to um to say okay uh tactical presentation is that we have to do that and you try to force the methodology uh it's it's not it's not a good idea uh, I, uh, I have this experience with, um, in Switzerland, we, we met a lot of um, different coach, um, even chairman, they take clubs from uh, foreign countries and try to say, okay, first, first they say, okay, in Switzerland, they don't know about uh, football. They are not very, uh, they, have, they have no skills. We are much better and everything and everything and try to, to, uh, to put all the ideas they, they have and the, the um, the, for example, if you, a French guy is coming, he want to do like we, like he he, he have done in France, and it's in in, in Switzerland it's, it's very different for in for a lot of reason. So uh, you have to adapt and to go slowly to 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 keep. I mean to to give you ideas to change what you want to change. And uh, yeah, you have to be patient. And you have to understand also that um, uh, not maybe not in the professional level, but if you want to work in the, with the, in the youth level, um, we have two season almost, because we have this season from uh, August to uh, end of November or middle of December. Then we have a break, then a pre-season again for maybe seven weeks. And we start uh, the second round in the uh, beginning of March until uh, end of May, middle of June. So it's all, it's two different parts. And um, the second part from January to to uh, to June, it, it's 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 uh, it's not easy because it's very long, and the first part is very cold. So yeah. if you are from uh, if you're not uh, used to to do uh, on the pitch when it's sometimes you can have snow, wind, uh, rain, or whatever, but sometimes it could be very cold. That's that's an advice to to have good gloves if you if you can in Switzerland during <laughs> this uh, season. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs>
Well, uh, Gregory, uh, bye bye. And bye-bye, uh, everyone. Um, my name is Philippe Moraes, and I will be with you shortly for another episode of Tactical Authorization Moments. Thank you so much again. Thank you for accepting our invitation, and I hope to, to see you soon. Take care and stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.